in one of my other videos, I was explaining how I can manipulate the direction of the light by using my fixed light twin and the feature of rotating the saw boxes. So basically, if I want the light to be reflected on the line angles of the teeth, I would use the parallel position of the saw boxes. Or if you prefer to have the light distributed in the middle of the tooth surface, I would just close the angle of the saw boxes. I'm not really doing that. I prefer to use the closed angle more to shoot posterior teeth. But anyways, the idea is that I can decide where the light is distributed by using this feature of rotating the saw boxes. Now, I got asked how do I do this with my fixed light ring because obviously I don't have two saw boxes it's just one so I cannot move I cannot change the position of the lateral sides basically this saw box is calibrated when by using the deflector in the middle by placing this part here the light is distributed on the sides and you obtain the same effect as using the fixed light twin with the saw boxes in a parallel position so now the light will go only here on the sides and it will be reflected on the line angles of the teeth now if I want the light to be positioned more towards the center of the tooth what I'm doing is that I'm just changing the distance. Yeah, I'm going a bit farther away, and of course I have to adjust the exposure. You can actually see more tips and tricks in this video. F25 ISO 200, shutter speed 1 per 200, doesn't matter. And a very nice distribution of the lights on the line angles. So that's pretty similar with shooting with the fixed light twin. Yeah, you can barely tell this is a ring flash inside here. Why? Because I changed the ring light pattern in a twin light pattern. Yeah, the light is not coming directly from the middle of the tooth structure, rather is diverted in the confinement of the saw boxes towards the lateral, such as I obtain the same uh, light distribution effect. What if I want more light in the middle of the tooth structure? I cannot incline this. I can just go a little bit more farther and have the light a little bit more on the center of the tooth, but of course, if I do that, what's changing from the exposure equation? The distance. So I need to compensate the lack of exposure, which will happen for sure, by changing the settings. So I don't mind to go F22 instead of increasing the ISO. Perfectly exposed. And now the light is more in the middle of the surface of anterior teeth. Pretty much identical with the scenario when I moved the saw boxes of the fixed light twin a little bit more inside. Not all the way, remember it was somewhere in the middle. This is the same photo. 